Today's headline, it's all about Defense Council in connection with Tonje rules to govern KDF family. <laughs> The Army Appointments How Army Appointments are done The Defense Council is the ultimate for all rules governing KDF fraternity That I will obey, preserve, protect and defend this constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic and that I will protect and uphold the sovereignty, integrity, and dignity of the people. In summary, the entry age of cadet is 18 years. Other criteria include medical fitness, physical fitness, and educational qualifications. In preview of Defense Council ultimate rules this include criteria for promotion, appointments, continuous training, criteria for enlistment, commissioning, promotion from one level to another. The Tonja Rules. The cadets who have been commissioned as a lieutenant, recruited at the age of 18 years, should attain the rank of captain by the age of 37 years. Failure to this, they should exit army. Discipline deterioration may result in failure to be promoted as a result of failure to uphold the standing order governing KDF as an officer. No good performance, either during deployment or in garrison, may result to failure to be promoted as an officer. The second rule says, captain who are promoted to major depends on performance or vacancy on the next rank, whereby major who reach 42 years before promotion to lieutenant colonel automatically retires. The other rule says, lieutenant colonel retires at 45 years, whereby when he reaches the age without further promotion to colonel, they retire. The fourth rule says, if colonels are not promoted to brigadier by 48 years, they should retire. Another rule from Toje says brigadier should serve until 52 years and if not promoted to major general, they should retire as well. A major general should retire at the age of 54 years. If you exceed more than 54 years without promotion, to Lieutenant General, you should retire from the service. Army service commanders, who is a Lieutenant General, should serve for four years until 58 years. Lieutenant General retires at 58 years, with no exception, except for those promoted to General. A General, who is a Chief of Defense Forces, retires at 62 years or four years in appointment, or whichever comes earlier. General Daudi Tonje was a chief of general staff between the year 1996 and the year 2001. For General Tonje to become a general, he was a commander of Kenya Army between the year 1993 to the year 1996. After Tonje came with Tonje rules, he persuaded Defense Council to adopt them. The reason to why Commander of Services retire at the age requirement of the year rank or four years in command, whichever comes earlier, is to ensure they do not become individual 
institutions. The chief of the defense forces cannot serve for more than four years, even if he was appointed earlier. Those promoted too late, towards 58 years, retiring age of lieutenant general serves only for the remaining period until they reach 58 years. Navy and Air Force commanders who are major generals retire at 54 years or four years in command, whichever comes earlier. Other Tonje rules, they include, first, no uncertain an impulsive way of promoting military officer between the ranks. Secondly, for the one to become a general or a chief of defense forces, he must have served as a service commander, either Kenya Army, Kenya Air Force, or Kenya Navy. Thirdly, a general will be a rotational between the three services in KDF, which are Kenya Army, Kenya Air Force, and Kenya Navy. Fourth, there can only be one general at a time in Kenya Defense Forces. The last rule, Tonja incorporated military women into KDF at large, as there before women had their wing known as military corps in 1971. If Tonja way of rules are placed in civilian act of human resource, this can trigger lowering of unemployment. For example, an officer should not overstay in any post of government job. Secondly, there is age limit for every post on government job and should never exceed the limit to allow other junior to fit the post. Thirdly, it condemns the seniors from utilizing their post for personal gains. Fourth, promoting equality for promotion on government job. Fifth, promotion would be based on general performance and scorecard. Sixth, there would never be an even promotion of an officer on government job, because some may, may do not as a way of trouble. Seven, this would ensure that there can only be one head of government institution. Eighth, this would ensure that senior obey the council rule of promotion. Lastly, it would ensure no more promotion of same person in a year. He or she should serve the current post promoted to for more than one year, not less.